he used to say, say, listen, you have the chance to change your life, your family's life, you could be something very special. Don't you want to be champion? You could be champion of the world. And I, I didn't pay no attention to it. He said, really? So you could be champion of the world. You could devastate the world. No man could take you with you. You just got to believe it. I looked at this guy, and then I started thinking. I said, you really? I said, this guy's really crazy. That's what I said, this guy's crazy. He said, you do what I tell you to do, and if it doesn't work, then, then you can leave. So I said, okay, bet. So I did um, everything he told me to do, and um, I won. I won. Um, I won every um, championship from the um, from the amateur championship. Oh, I won all the championships. I got. I'm, I'm gonna cry. And so um, I won every championship they, um, that he told me because he told me what to do. And I started believing in this old man. I stopped having a certain relationship. You know, even though he is my manager and trainer, sometimes I forget that because of the way we are. The first day he even met me. The first day he met me. He took me in his house. He didn't even know me. I can't say honestly, I have a very deep affection for him. I do. To me, he's my boy. He's with me. But I often say to him, you know, I owe you a lot, and he doesn't know what I mean, but I'm going to tell him now what I mean. If he weren't here, I probably wouldn't be alive today. The fact that he is here and doing what he's doing, and doing as well as, in, as he's doing, and improving as he has, gives me the motivation and interest to stay alive. Because I believe that a person dies when they no longer want to live. But I have a reason, Mike, and he gives me the motivation. I will stay alive, and I will watch him become a success. Because I will not leave until that happens. I was 14 and I fought. Um, I fought in the Junior Olympics in um, 1980, I believe it was. And um, I broke all the records. You tell me what you're going to do tomorrow. I'm going to go in there, I'm going to jab to the head, then I'm going to go eight to the body, and then I'm going to move after I hit. I'm going to punch the body. What are you going to do when you get inside? I'm going to open up like a son of a bitch. I won it all. I won all my fights by knockouts in the first round. And I broke the record with um, a knockout in eight seconds. Um, I guess that's the fastest knockout on record. <laughs> I know the art of fight, I know the art of war. That's all I ever studied. That's why I'm so feared. That's why they feared me when I was in the ring. Cause that's all my I was an annihilator. That's all I was born for. And now those days are gone. It's empty. I'm nothing. I'm working on being the art of humbleness. Can you believe me? That's the reason why I'm crying, because I'm not that person no more. And I miss them. A lot and he doesn't know what I mean, but I'm gonna tell him now what I mean. I believe that a person dies when they no longer want to live. Me when I was in the ring, because that's all my I was an annihilator, that's all I was born for. And now those days are gone, it's empty, I'm nothing.